Now dear students, I will explain you seed coat. Seed coat is the outer covering of the seed. Next, we have cotyledons. Cotyledons are the fleshy part of a seed. Before germination, let me show you some example of monocot and dicot. For this, I have some seeds of kidney beans and gram and wheat. As you all can see, now I am removing the seed cot of this kidney bean. This red colored outer covering is known as the seed cot. It is the hard outer covering of a seed which protects the embryo of the seed. As I have opened this kidney bean, you all can see this seed, it splits into two portion. One and second. So, kidney beans, it has two cotyledons. So, it is a dicot seed. Now, let's talk about wheat. Can you all see this? When I talk about wheat, it is a monocot as it has a single cotyledon. Now, next comes your germination. Germination is the process by which new plant is formed by the seed. Next are the ways of dispersal of seed. But before that, let's, uh, let us understand what does dispersal means. Dispersal is the spreading away of seeds. Spreading away of seed from the parent plant. So the main agents of dispersal of seeds are wind, animals, water and explosion. Seeds which are light in weight and have wings. The seeds which have wings, they are carried or blown away by the winds. So the seeds like of dandelion and desert rose are carried by the winds. Hence the seeds of Dandelion and desert rose are dispersed by wind. Next are dispersal by animals. Usually animals they eat attractive fruits like strawberries, guavas, sycamore. So the seeds of these fruits get stuck to their skin or to their fur or even they come out through their droppings. And when they get proper amount of sunlight, air and water they get they starts germinating next are the dispersal by water the seeds which are light in weight fibrous and spongy get dispersed by water like the seeds of lotus and coconut next are the seeds which are dispersed by explosion usually the seeds of pea and lady's finger are dispersed by explosion. As the fruit it get dried and it burst open the seeds of the pea. They come out from the pea pot and they get exploded to other places. Next is vegetative propagation. So dear students first of all understand what is vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation is a process of reproduction in which new plant is formed from the parent plant, from the fragments of parent plant. Vegetative propagation is also known as vegetative reproduction in which we use different parts of plant like roots, stems, leaves to grow a new plant. Like we grow sweet potato and breadfruit from roots of their parent plant. Then we have tea, grapes and sugar cane. They are grown from the stem of the parent plant. Bryophyllum and begonia are grown from the leaves of their parent plant. So my dear students, this was your class for today. Today's homework is Write down the important definitions that is for the seed coat, cotyledons and germination. Let me repeat once again. Homework for today is write down the important definition seed coat, 
cotyledons and germination seed coat is the outer covering of the seed cotyledons are the fleshy part of a seed and germination is a process by which new plant is formed by the seed and draw a well labeled diagram of germination in our next class we will learn the various types of crops the difference between crop and agriculture kharif and rabi crop and the ways to store them thank you and have a nice day